Welcome to complete SQL tutorial video series. In this video, I am going to discuss about the with parameter store procedure in the SQL. So uh, this uh, video tutorial, uh, I already started with the store procedure, uh, which is uh, very important for the interview point of view as well as the uh, real time working point of view. So uh, I already provided the two video, uh, which is the 48 and 49. So related to basic of the store procedure, the definition of the store procedure and last video I discuss uh, the how we can create the store procedure that will I will follow the entire session how we can create and uh, uh, execute the store procedure. So if you didn't get a chance, uh, please go and uh, watch first uh, 49 uh, because uh, 49 is important. Uh, I already discussed how you can uh, create any store procedure, why store procedure is required and uh, uh, how we can execute the all the call the store procedure as well. So in this video, uh, the next part which uh, I will discuss the with parameter store procedure and uh, we also have the optional parameter, how we can validate the parameter and uh, how we can handle the null value in the store procedure, uh, how we can work with the output parameter store procedure. So there are lots of video coming in the future. So uh, keep watching all the video uh, one by one. So uh, let's jump to the SQL Server Management Studio and understand how we can work with the uh, with parameter store procedure. So basically why the parameter is required. Okay, so what is the exactly the parameter? So basically whenever you have the, uh, uh, the uh, code, okay, so like the uh, number of the line of the code. So if suppose if you have generating the report uh, based on the uh, specific data, like here I have uh, these two part of the code, this part one and this part two. Uh, let's see example, suppose we have the 10 part of the code and uh, you retrieving the data based uh, on the uh, specific uh, employee information. Uh, like here, I'm, if I put the four year and four year, I will get the result set of employee ID four. Okay, so, uh, uh, so let me come correct this database here. So you will get uh, this employee ID 4, we have this type of the data, uh, okay. So uh, it seems this uh, employee ta salary table, we have the some duplicate data. So like data is coming like this, okay, 4, 4, 4. So let me correct this one first. Uh, so uh, you will get better understanding, okay. So uh, I, I need to fix the table, okay. So open the table creation where and uh, remove the duplicate data. Okay, so if you uh, create and drop this table, so now if you execute this, now you can we not get the duplicate value. Okay, so here uh, suppose if you have the requirement to get the employee ID four or in instead of the three, so we need to change the three. So if you create the store procedure, okay, so if you create the store procedure and we can, uh, you can. Uh, make the parameter is the employee ID here. Okay, so basically last video, I already discussed that uh, how we can create the store procedure, but we didn't create any parameter. Right? So we need to use the same syntax for the creating the procedure. So as uh, the syntax is uh, uh, create procedure, okay, P R O C E D procedure, and we need to give the procedure name, like uh, I'm giving the with uh, parameter, okay. Uh, P A R A M E parameter and uh, here we need to make the parameter right? so parameter will always start with the at the rate and you can give the any name like suppose I am giving here the uh, EMP ID and after the parameter value you need to give the uh, which data type we need to be pass here like integer character or any type of the data type date time so whatever you uh, you can pass that value you need to be accepted by the store procedure okay now again you need to close the bracket so last uh, last uh, uh, last uh, video i discuss only the creating the store procedure uh, without parameter so if i open and i will show you uh, what exactly we have so you can see here that we created without parameter and we not put in any parameter and here we need to be put the edge begin and end. Same thing here also, uh, you need to put the uh, edge begin, okay. And uh, I discussed begin and end is not the mandatory, okay. So 
uh, either you can put or uh, uh, it's not mandatory uh, is there but we need to be put as per the code based writing process because the uh, we can understand that where the stroke procedure is starting and where the stroke procedure is ending if you click on this minus icon you can see this is the ending one line number 18 okay like this so this is the very helpful if you work in the real time now uh, my next step is the whatever the parameter value you created uh, you need to be uh, put here okay so uh, so whenever the stored procedure is run they basically pass the value here and they replace it so once this procedure is uh, run into this uh, database now you need to be execute with the same uh, like the last video just you can put the execute okay and there are two way you can uh, uh, execute this procedure just you can put the execute procedure and after that you need to pass the value like uh, uh, like something like this or an alternate way same thing you can also uh, write so uh, like this uh, procedure name and whatever the parameter you pass like equal to equal to 3 so this will be also work okay so both execution process will be same so either you can simply pass the value or simply pass so this process will be very helpful when you have the multiple parameter like 100 or like 10 15 20 okay so once you execute this value store procedure basically you will get the all the information of employee ID 3 if someone from the other uh, country or other developer they try to execute this uh, data so no need to open entire code okay so they, they do no need to open the entire code so the, just they select and change the here the value okay so if you create the parameterized value it will be help to the developer as well as well the other uh, uh, other process as well so basically uh, whenever we retrieving the data in report okay so we need to make the parameterize if you can see the drop down box uh, if you generate the any type of the report so the store procedure is very helpful when we work with the any type of the report like the crystal report or the any type of the uh, uh, report whenever you working so user they selected the data based on the front end so all the output will become uh, based on the data selected like for example if selected the city is equal to uh, Hyderabad uh, they will get the all the data related to Hyderabad if you make the city related so you can do the practice and uh, 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 something if you uh, do the practice like the different different scenario uh, definitely you will get the better understanding of the uh, parameter value okay so and this will be very important to work for the SQL uh, because store procedure uh, 85 percent we use the parameter store procedure only okay and uh, next video uh, I will discuss about this uh, how we can uh, uh, work with the parameter like the how we can validate the parameter how we can handle the null value in the parameter uh, how we can uh, uh, basically uh, execute the output parameter so this I discuss uh, this is the input parameter uh, another we also we have uh, output parameter that I already discussed in the type book video number 41 that will be I will provide you the a real time demonstration okay so how we can work so uh, thank you so much for the watching this video I will meet again on the next video that is the optional parameter in the store procedure thank you so much